pick it up. You have. So. Oh, God. All right. I got to start. Oh, we're on. So I got to start my chat. Okay. Let's see here. Somebody got a radio on? Yeah, I'm turning it down. I'm muting it. I had to mute our... Uh, Hello, everybody. There's Crafty Kitty and Christine. Patty Hoyt's here. Aaron. Hello, Aaron. Sandra's here. Hello, hello, people. Kathleen is here. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Sandra. Thumbs up. How's everybody doing? Uh, am I getting an echo? No, it's all right. You're good. You're good. All right. Hi, Carrie Ann. No, I'm hearing an echo. It must be my phone here. Let me get rid of my phone. Okay, Let's see if that helps. Yep. <laughs> so today we got Kathy. Hello. It's Kathy. Kathy's cards. I'm still hearing a little bit of an echo, guys. Everybody got everything turned off? Yeah, yeah. I don't have anything on. This is Andrea from the Midnight Crafter. Hi, guys. Well, tell all of this to get off your headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Deanna and Tina A. Hi. Hi, Laurel. Hi, Sandra. Aaron. Sandra's here. And today we are going to be making dangle beaded trim or beaded dangle trim, whatever you want to say. <laughs> so... The first thing you want to do is get a needle, a needle that's going to fit through your little beads. And sometimes I'll use big beads and most of the time I'll use a little bead. And this is the needle I'm using today. It's a six inch beading needle only because I like to get a whole bunch of beads on one needle, <laughs> one pass. And it's just easier for me. But you can use any size needle that will fit through a bead. So, and then I'm using colorful beads today so you can see them. But usually you use the same color bead or, you know, maybe one or two variations of colors. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to lay out a pattern. Oh, Steep Punk was last week. Yeah. Yes, it was. So I'm just going to lay out just a few beads here. And you're the designer, so you can design your length any way you want. I'm just going to put some pink beads here. Let's start a new one here. And you want to get a piece of ribbon. Or lace, even. Lace and anything you got that is in a line. <laughs> I'm going to be using this steam, steampunk. <laughs> Got another steam, binding, right? Steam binding. I'm just going to cut a piece off. I'm not going to make it very long today. Just for the demonstrations. And then you want to measure. And then we got Helen's here. April is here. Hello. And, Hi, lady. Uh, who else? Oh, Diane's here. Oh, I'm so glad to see all you guys coming in today. Yeah. And I'm going to measure every half an inch I'm going to put. Oh, I just started. Just started, so we, you haven't missed much, Christina. Uh, so I'm going to just do every half inch and just put a little mark. Let's see. And this... This project is real easy to do. You're going to like making your own beaded trim. Just sit in your chair at night and just bead away. <laughs> it's not very expensive. So I've made a few marks. 
Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. So I'm going to finish laying out the beads I want to use. You can make them the, the dangle any length you'd like. I think I'm going to stop right here. So I got seven beads total. I've got three or two kind of medium sized beads, a, a, mob bead, a smaller mob bead, three little pink beads, and a rice bead. So we're going to start by putting our thread onto our seam binding. And so you get it on the first mark, and you want to leave a little bit of room. You don't want to put a bead out here. You're going to need, need that room to glue down later on your project. So just leave a little bit of room. Uh -oh. So put your thread on and tie a knot at the top. Every time you go to the top, you're going to tie a knot. Tie a knot, oh, OK. Yes. <laughs> You got so, this, girl. You got this. Okay, so, yeah, right. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> oh, I'm probably doing the next so, Now go through your beads, put them all on. And there. you can uh, either pick them up, and when you get good, you can slide this needle all, all the way through all at once. Okay. Okay. And this is so simple, and it's... <laughs> When you go to the, <laughs> what? You make it so sound so simple. It is. Look. I know. It's you got, the, you got this. You got I've it. I've got the first row on there. Oh, that Absolutely. was hard. So you pull it, pull it to the top of your thread. Ah, of course, I would get a knot in it. Very first thing. <laughs> You can use any kind of thread, too. It doesn't have to be anything special. Okay, so I got it to the top. And it looks like this. I'll try and leave everything laying down. So the next thing you do is see my last bead. Bring that last bead down just a bit. And oh. uh, let me see now. It's been a while since I've done this. Okay, bring it down just a bit. Skip that bead and go all the way up to the top of your string. Okay. And then you're going to pull when you get to the top all the way. All if, right. your, if your line is not tight, all you do is pull on that bottom bead, and that will tighten your row. And then you tie it off. Make a knot and tie it off. And that's your first angle. If I can get it close enough here. Let's see if I can put another knot in here, because that's... <laughs> That's a trick. <laughs> okay, so that's my first angle. Now you want to go to the next mark, and we're at the top. You've got to make a, make a knot, so tie that one off. The reason why you tie off each and every one is when you're making your project and you cut this, you don't want to lose all your beads. And I go so far as to glue each and every section. You glue where? Glue at the knot. Oh. Because when I cut this, if I've made this line too long, my seam binding too long, you're going to cut it to make it fit your project. <laughs> I so got the first just... one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I don't know how it works. <laughs> Boy, I got a knot in mine this time, that's for sure. It's not the prettiest thing, but it's I think it's together. Hey, that's great. <laughs> that's okay. great. Everybody wants to see. Oh God. Show <laughs> us. This is the first time she's ever done it. So right. that's it's wonderful. It's just a little one. <laughs> it's a little Hi, John. <laughs> I gotta get mine untangled. 
It's a little one right now. Well, you just keep <laughs> on going. That's what you do. Well, right. Keep on swimming, girl. Keep on swimming. I want, swimming, to, I, I want okay, to. I want to. Um, my head here. No. <laughs> get mine untangled here. Now, when you go in, I'm sorry. When you go into the um, the next one, do you go from behind? Uh, yeah, you don't. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter because you're going to cover this with another type of lace or something. Oh, okay. So it don't it's matter just, how I. It doesn't matter. You're not going to see the knots. You're not going to see the threads. I think I'm overlapping. Well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> It'll, it'll work. <laughs> if you get real bad, you can always put a on it. <laughs> oh, I gotta try to find the right size. Mm -hmm. Pressure is on. Okay. I'm getting my uh, thread off. Mine got a knot in it. Not in my place. <laughs> I, I might have to uh, cut my thread and start over. Oh, God, oh. no. Don't start over. <laughs> yeah, I've done that before. <laughs> there we go. I got it. Of course, <laughs> my thread's the same color as the lace I'm using, so I can barely see it. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Morning, everyone. Pixie Bees and me said. Oh, you're in bed <laughs> laughing at us. Okay. <laughs> I can Margaret. Who did I miss that came in? Anybody? Hi, Diane. Let's see. Okay, let me see. How many did I use on that now? <laughs> All right, six. I got a mixture going on. See, Roxanne, come in. And there's Jody. Hi, Jody. Hey, Jody. Okay. So that only took five minutes to do one <laughs> row. <laughs> Whoops. I'm losing my pearls over here. Leave them for the sweeper. Oh, um, Jane Marge is here. Hi, yeah. Jane. Hi, Pix Pixie B. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like these pinks. I'm coming. Oh, we're being too quiet. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Concentration. Yeah. We're, we're all hoping we won't get a knot like I just <laughs> did. No, we're good. Back on again. Now, you don't want to pull your thread too tight when you go from one end to the other. Yeah, it'll pucker them. Yeah, you don't want to pucker at the very top. Oh, good Lord, no. no so, but you want your bead to, uh, you want, uh, let me go back here. You want this section to be tight. You don't want that to be loose. But between here and here, you want that to oh, be loose. Oh, I see what I did. I'm wondering why mine is so close together. <laughs> no. Did you measure? I measured, but I I messed up the first hole. Oh, All the problems I have. The first That's hole. That's right. <laughs> well, this is just an experiment. <laughs> I'm going to do, do on the end. Okay. Oh, you want to see Andrea? Okay, there you go. Andrea does awesome work. They both do. Hi, Patty. How are you, hon? Well, Andrea's a little advanced. She's doing it on lace, but I had to start with the basics. Well, I did start with the basics, but I wanted to start a new one for them. This is the one I um, was doing on a piece of ribbon with just some 
clear beads and some teardrop pearls that I have an overabundance of that I need to use up. Just making up some small pieces of trim to use on future projects. Yeah. So I'm trying to think of the project colors that we hopefully will use. So I can, and this one here is just all lace and then I'm just putting the dangles in between. And we have some pinks in this one. We have some large pink pearls, some um, small pink crystals, some pink iridescent seed beads, and some, I have these at the base. These are um, my teardrops that I'm using at the bottom. And some pearls. Yeah, I think Andrea's cheating. She had some ahead of us. <laughs> no, I got to use these up, guys. Look, at, I'm not kidding. Whoops. I got too many of them, so I want to use no, them. No, you never have too many beads. <laughs> got to use them. Okay, I ran out of string. I guess I got to get more, huh? <laughs> and I yep. just dropped you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to watch chat. And... <laughs> I know. As long as my beads don't mix together, we're good. Uh oh. But yeah, I started the other one, but I wanted to see what it would look like just to add some uh, little dangles in between here. And I might even go back and do little loops of pearls. You can um, do all sorts of things. Yeah, after, but I wanted to see how these make nice accents on pieces, plaques, mm -hmm. wall hangings. Two. So I'm adding six more of these little pearls here before I put my dangly on. <laughs> Just do not watch what I'm doing, girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, we got, I'm learning. We got so, you know, I'm, I'm the one that, uh, you know, this is how it looks when you put it. Well, this is, I've right. never made my own dangle trim, but I have made um, dangle earrings. I used to do um, beaded, hand beaded earrings. So it's kind of similar. You're making yeah. the dangles. Use up all these supplies. Yeah. Let me go back up through. I, I can hold it taunt enough. I should have taped down one end of my lace. I might have to put oh, a little glue on the back of this one. Go back up through. Need really thin beading needles for this. I know. I barely. Uh... If I had known that, I would have sent you um, some. Yeah, I've got some too. Yeah, because I used to work with Delicas and the real small beads. Yeah. Yeah, I had some other small ones, but it didn't go through my needles. So. Yeah, now I'm just pulling. Well, I've used real big beads. Yeah. And bigger needles. You don't have to do the small stuff. Okay. Especially us ladies that can't see anymore. Yeah. That's <laughs> why I don't eat anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Even with glasses, my reading glasses on, I'm struggling here. Yeah, you guys can't see us, but we all got our glasses on. <laughs> yep. Got me eyeballs on. Hi, Harmony. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Yeah, I might have to clamp that side down just so it stays so I can do that. Let's clean that up a little bit. I pulled it a little too taut. I pulled on the first one. Uh-oh. Yeah. Go back and fix it. That's Everything's what I'm doing. Oh, that's cool with the lace. I see now. Yep. Like Fair in enough. between, I just dangle in. I got to get sea bees. I can't tell you how many I've given away sea bees. <laughs> like, I don't yeah. even know. You just never know. Keep everything. All right. I got to hold it because I can't get it back up through. It is a little bit harder on the lace, I have to say. Is it? Um, yeah. I think I'd rather do it on the lace than seam binding or ribbon. Oh, I, the ribbon I didn't have this much issue with. Oops. Everybody has a, a problem, you know, 
Which I'm thing? not using invisible thread. I really wouldn't see oh, it. Oh boy, I've tried that. That was miserable. <laughs> oh, not good, huh? Okay. No. Let me fix that. Okay. I hope I'm not in your way, guys. I hope you can see. No, oh, yeah, I can see. You're fine. Let's go see what Kathy's doing now. Oh God, love. Look at my third one. Oh, that's nice, Kathy. I'm on my third one. <laughs> Hi, Deb. Five hours later. You're on your third. I'm just skipping over to my fourth, but I, <laughs> I changed colors. So <laughs> you changed colors, huh? Yeah. Oops. All right. Now I try to pull us through. Hold on. Oh, what's all the threading? Got a lot of thread this time. Oh my god, it got it wrapped everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to the bead. Hold on to the bead. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get some masking tape and tape my uh lace down. Work. It'll be a lot easier than this mess I got going on here. I got some extra thread here. There uh, we go. You, you get into practice and you'll buzz right through it. Yep. It's been I'm a while since I beat it, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm buzzing. It's probably the string I got. It kind of tangles a little here. Yeah, mine is tangling too. Oh, yeah, it's not just you, Kath. <laughs> not just the newbie, huh? No. no. It happens to everybody. It happens to everyone. You know what's a good thread if you're doing a bigger needle is dental floss. Oh, really? I or mean, you can uh, use beeswax I, to wax your thread uh, with. DJ's Vintage Gas. I see your... There, that's... The, oh, my... Oh! I'm losing one here. Whose name don't you see, Patty? I don't, don't see the name what CJ's vintage gifts and more or Kiki. Kiki is Kathleen. Yes. It's a nickname. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. On to the next. Ah. Trouble with this one here. I didn't tie it tight enough. I'm not seeing Connie, but I see somebody saying hello to Connie. Yeah, I think I just saw, yeah. Why aren't I seeing Connie? <clears throat> well, Connie, if you're there, hello. Do we have a... I'm here. Whoops. And I tighten that second one here. The second one kind of came loose here. I'm trying to save it. Is that uh, C's vintage gifts and more? Is that Connie? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, Connie. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. I'm making a mess of this. <laughs> My second one kind of came out. Okay. <laughs> Coming back to me. Oh God, please. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like you need a little break there. <laughs> so here's what I've got done so far. I love our giggles. Of course, I would never put these two together, but I just wanted to show you a little variation of color and sizes. It all depends on the bead, how long your dangle is going to be. So I've used six of these beads and a little tiny little pink pearl bead on the bottom. And then various sizes on this one. And you can see that they're different lengths. You can make nice. this as long as you want. So this part of the um, trim, what you're going to do is you're going to get another, you'll put this on your project first, and then you're going to get something else to lay over this. So don't worry about seeing your knots or seeing your thread. It all gets covered. Yep. Thank God. So if you, can, <laughs> if you go and make a yard of this, 
A yard? A yard. <laughs> She's a yard. Again. A yard. Some people charge what? Oh, $8.99 oh, yeah. a yard. And upwards. Uh, especially yeah. a lot of work. It's, it, it's a lot of work, but it's very expensive to buy too. Yes. So okay, let's go back to Andrea. She's too funny. Yeah, I'm gonna pick out a different color. Who's funny? Pick <laughs> Abby. A yard. She's freaking yeah. out. <laughs> Quit making her nervous. That's all right, guys. She's a virgin that. today. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she won't be after us, so. Oh, we'll Need fix practice. that. Thank you, Joey. I'm going to do some green now. That'll make uh, Jeannie happy. Green. Ooh, green. Oh, green like that. Da, da, da. Oh. So, Andrea, while we're on you for the new people, why don't you explain how to do it? All right. Well, on this one, I had to do it slightly different because to get to the next hole without having to restart, I uh, weaved it through some of the finer parts of the design and um, dangly part here. I just right through the top threads to get over to the next one. And then I went around it a couple times before I went down and added my beads, um, just so it would hold it better and it won't pucker when I go on to the next ones. And then I, uh, I'm stringing six of the white pearls and then I'm one of these clear pink, pale pink, and then one of the crystals. I have one. And then I'm reversing it back down to the teardrop at the base hey, and when I'm done I'll come back up through the front and go around the post a couple times before I weave it over to the next drop down well can you make it a little bit simpler Andrea <laughs> oh I'm sorry oh no I'm you. I'm, thank you Diane oh, so nice very nice <laughs> it's all playing guys you really can't mess it up it's all playing yeah. it's playing <laughs> If you don't like it, you can start it over. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that. Yeah. My hands are not as steady as they used to be either, I'll tell you. I've, uh. And then to go back up through, I'm just holding my strand behind me so I can weave my needle back up. Don't they have like a machine that can do this? <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me. There must be one out there. Okay. I can just slide in the pearls and it does it. <laughs> oh, she's fun. Oh. Yeah, there might be. You'll have to check. It's probably expensive, you know, though. For people like me. <laughs> well, oh, you can always go buy it. You oh, can know God. like something unless you try. I uh, know, but it wouldn't be a, a such as much of a challenge, you know. Yeah, it's funner because you make it and then you can be proud of what you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to slide these down because they're in my way. And I go, go up through these last two here. Hello, if I, jewels. If I can get my eyeballs to work. <laughs> and then I'm going to go right up and around that post in there. I'm pull, the bottom. pull the bottom out so I don't tangle here. Aha, uh -huh, Patty. <laughs> uh, that's true with a lot of people. Just ask Mars. She'll do it. <laughs> my, my family does that all the time. <laughs> there we go. Three. All right. Let's see. Now I'll go around that post a couple times. Whoops. I can untangle it from my lace itself. So then I just go, I loop around the hole here a couple times before I move on to the next one. See the lace, I could hide more of my mistakes. <laughs> yeah, you're not making any mistakes. It's all going to get hidden anyway, so don't worry too much about it. Well, you know, uh, tightening the bead on top, that's where I'm a little, just making sure. about that bead on top. It's all going to get covered. You're fine. 
Oh, no, down, you know. <laughs> I made a boo boo. It's wrapping around my lace here. Oh, Patty, you can ask anything you want. You might not get yeah. it, but you can yeah. ask. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. Okay. So on the back side, what I've been doing, because you're not going to see it anyways once you got it on your project. Okay. As I just myself that. like just through the top parts of the threads of the embroidery on the back till I get over to where I want to be. Because I already went around that last yeah. one a couple times to tie it on. Let's see. You don't have to be this anal about it. I'm just. You no, know, but you know what you want. A good point oh, to either side. No order for me, Kathleen. <laughs> if you make a mistake, all you have to do is thread your needle back through the beads and yeah, take them or off. take your needle off and then do it. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not gonna go through trying to thread this needle again. So I just thread my needle back through. Let's see. Okay. Get it back where it needs to be here. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, you can do it, hon. Just get a bigger needle. Yep. See, mine is a, a six inch needle, even though it's very thin. It's very, I can put my whole hand on this needle. I'm wow, not gonna lose it. it doesn't hurt. Okay, I try to use one of those long ones we use for the stick pins, but oh, mine was really thick. Yeah, the, yeah, it's too thick. Yeah, the, the dowel needles are their heads on them are too. Um, yeah. the eyes are too. Yeah. Long for certain beads. No, this isn't for my gypsy. This is just for demonstrations mm -hmm. today on how to make the dangles for for a book or a project. Mm. Yeah, 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 it's expensive. The bead, beading trim is expensive if it's a dangle or, or any other kind of bead trim. It's expensive. Oh, no. What was I, I think I was at, well, I think I was even at Joanne's. Well, they weren't on sale, but like 17 something a yard. Yeah. Like, oh. Yes. Yes. That's a lot. Unless you really don't want to beat them. I'd rather bead. But I've been beating all my life, so it's easy. Yeah. For me. My hands just don't like it. All right, Patty. Oh, you turn that sucker on and you can't. You know what my son told me when I first got a computer? Because I was scared to death of computers. Oh, said, yeah. Everybody break it. Just start clicking buttons. And that's the same way with a sewing machine. You can't break it. Just start doing it. Don't be yep. afraid. You'll get used to it. Yeah. Just start with a straight line. Just practice, practice, practice. Okay. Come on, beads. Okay. I'm proud of you, Patty. <sighs> yes, we must face our fears. My hair is in my face. I might have nightmares tonight, but hey, no. No, you won't. <laughs> the beads are coming after me. We'll laugh later about it. <laughs> You're doing good, so. Okay, I'll show you what I got, and then we'll go see what Kathy's doing. Uh -huh. So I got two pinks, two reds, and two greens. And just oh, yeah. do all kinds. You can do all kinds of beads. You can do a big bead at the top and graduate down. Or put a big bead at the bottom. Yep. So even, you can't see middle. it, but even that we're skipping that bottom bead, you cannot see that thread unless you look really, really close. And I guess, like you said, if you if you get it, some yeah, same, close to same, it. Yep. You have to get close to see that thread. But that's even on a bottom, a bottom uh, strand of beads. Beaded trim, you're going to see that thread. 
Now, um, Andrea can show you how to use the teardrop if she's at that place. Yeah, I am. All right, let me go to her. All these are, guys, is there a bead with the hole is at the top. It doesn't go down through the bead. It's just a hole at the top. And I just take and uh, instead of using seed beads, I figured I'd use these up because they were my stash. So you just go through the top of it. Not that you can see with my fat finger in the way here. The and then, the uh, then you take and uh, go back up through your last pearl that I have on here. And it'll tie it on. I have my thread doubled. I work with double thread. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't think I would. What, double? Oh, yeah. Oh, see, well, mine is a beading thread. Mine's a, a size zero Nemo. Oh, thread. okay. Mine so is that's thicker. why. Oh, I would make such a mess with it. Yeah, no, mine's made for the uh, type of beading I used to do. Yeah, that's, oh, I would make such a mess. Oh. So, um, and uh, a tie. Are the holes on the side of the bead? Of the dangle, the bottom? Yeah. Eardrop? Yes. It's like, okay. yeah. It's on the sides. I don't know if you can see the hole in here or not. But yeah. there's one right there. Yeah, I did. That's why, yeah. Yep. Yep. They work good when you're making dangles. So I gather you got to thread... Um, Often your needle, or um, I haven't that? yet. I I took um a real about long six one? feet, and then oh, I wow. about six feet, and then I took in um yeah. <laughs> I use some of it only so I I was hoping I didn't have to reload it. Okay, I might have to get new thread because mine kind of tangles. Yeah, tangles. Get a thicker thread then maybe, or yeah, um, put some beeswax on it. Yep. You can run it through beads wax. It won't tangle as much either. Oh, okay. Or not. What do you mean, or not? <laughs> well, or that, or Threadhaven. They have this stuff called Threadhaven. You can run it through. I used to use it when I cross stitch too. Yeah. All you have to do is run that thread over the top of whatever you're using. Yep. That's it. One pass. Right. It'll. But that's why I'm struggling so much is my thread is real long, so I want to make sure it's not tangling as I'm pulling it through. It gets easier as you go down your line. Yeah. Your thread and that's what it does at the bottom. It just ties it your It's like one bottom. side will, will stick on me. <laughs> you know how that goes. Got to fix my hair, guys. I feel like Cousin It here. My hair is my face. <laughs> there. <laughs> Oh, you're doing fine, Kathy. Oh, yeah, I'm on four. Isn't that something? I'm kind of uh, attention to chat, guys. It's I only got six done, but I'm done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's cute. You're doing yeah. great. Come oh, I here. like that, Kathy. Yeah. That's, not That's perfectly pretty, good. and it's in my colors. <laughs> yeah, the one I just didn't do it tight enough. The it's a little string there, but like you said, I don't think you'll see it. No, no. Yeah. yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, no, you so let's see. Yeah. Try something else now because I know I don't have enough for... Uh... I'm not stitching in between the beads. I've only got a half inch space in between. Yeah. And you're not going to see it, so just every half inch put a, low, yeah. uh, a line of beads. Okay. Or you can add, you can take just a tiny little stitch in between. Well, let's see what we want to do next. Now. Yeah, we'll do a clear one, maybe. Uh, I don't think we're all pros. No, 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 no. We're far from pros. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> no. Oh, this is a side one. Okay. Doing the lace thing is totally new to me. I've always just made earrings. Never... Oh, you can do lots with lace. You can put beads on top of the lace. Yeah, well, I saw that lace and I was like, it needed something. Yeah, so now <laughs> you have to go back and put beads on top of the lace. This yeah, that's what I'm going to do after on these. Yeah. You and then I might do little loopies or something. I'm not yeah. sure. Yet. Yeah. All right, let's see. And bring too many other colors. Let's see. Ah. Far from a pro, though. You learn by playing. 
Don't be afraid to try anything. <laughs> Just do it. Do it, do it, do it. Uh, you ain't gonna know that you can do it. Sierra. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Sierra. Hello. If you all see somebody you don't know, go ahead and click on their name and subscribe to their channel. They're all crafters, they're all very nice ladies. Do you, Deb, you get more knots when you double it? Hello, Vanessa. I'm just playing with the with what colors I have here. These won't really match well. I'm just kind of. <laughs> yeah, I was just playing too, yeah. just to well, to show well. you how to do it. That's all. Yeah. Now I'm doing this all night. Oh, I've got to have a pot. I've got a lot of beads that I've got to use up before. Because I, I got to finish that other one, but this one, oh. this one yeah, will be pretty. Yeah. See, then I could always take something like this and on the top. No, that's too much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. You, you know what you can do, Andrea? What? Uh, on the next row of yep. uh, lace, you can take your, see your dangle where it stops? Yeah. Okay. You can do the same thing. Go back up. So you're going to have like a, a V that will circle that thing. Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, like a loop from here yeah. to here. That's what I was saying, no. like a loop of pearls no, or something. you don't have to do that. You take oh. what you've already done and double it to go back up. Oh. Okay. So mm. the bottom of that teardrop will be the bottom of your loop, but you'll have the same thing going back up to the next side. Oh, you mean in these, just loop yeah. them, Like a no. little ball loop? No. Um. How can I explain? Here, let me show you on my page. Of course, I don't have the... Um, so you could see oh. these two red ones. You can yes. connect yep. just like that. So you'll double what you're using. Oh, like this. But in right. one teardrop at the base. Right, right. Just one oh. teardrop. Oh, on boy. each one. Instead of skipping. Like yeah. You, it kind of looks like you're skipping. So yeah, yeah well, I mean, I'm going in between these down drops of lace here. Yeah. So you'll you'll use one line and then put your teardrop on, do the same thing going back up to the yep. other side. Of yeah, that. but you only got to use the one teardrop to right. hold the strands. Yep, just one teardrop. Yep. Hey. So. We'll have to play later with that one. I know. I want to do some lace now. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Mars beat me to it. I would have told you the same thing. I don't have anything oh, pretty. There you go, Kathy. <laughs> My hoard belt is empty, so I figured I'd make some pretty. But I like that design too. That's real pretty. Yeah, those look nice. Yep. I had a lot of pearls, so I said, well, I got to use them. Yep. Had them for about 20 years. They need to go. Oh, oh wow. They need I've to been go. Beat. Yeah. Oh, I never get rid of my pearls or my beads. Well, they were given to me. It was, they were given to me for my birthday. Somebody worked at a um, factory here that did stuff like that. Naptex. It was a sewing company. And yeah. uh, they were ones that they didn't want. They discontinued. So he brought me all the bags. That's great. Oh, that's and like them huge bins. Use them. That's what I've been doing. So I'm yeah. glad I'm getting to use that because I hate wasting anything. And you always have lace. Yes. Yeah. Well, not the pretty stuff no more, but yeah. <laughs> well, if they you put, use it. put uh, beads on your lace, <laughs> on any lace or appliques. My hoard vault is empty. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, boy. More. <laughs> oh, I love lace though. Ugh. Yes. <laughs> All right, so I got my six on there. Now I gotta go. Gotta grab one of these. One of these. One of the pearls. And then I'm going to grab. Oh. Almost grabbed the wrong one. That one. Gotta do it in reverse. Really? Six more pearls. 
We had ice storms this morning. Oh, I hate oh, that. I see what she's saying. I'm going to have to play with it. the other piece I got. Anybody else uh, doing this with us? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> well, they're watching, and then they can do it, and then they can show us what they've got. Any other newbies out there? Do Okay, uh, let's go to Kathy. Kathy, are you at the bottom of one yet? Storm. Oh, oh, you're doing something different now. Cool. Oh, yeah, I'm just because what I have is kind of just yeah, like, it's all right. You know, so okay. everybody watch Kathy and she'll show you how to do it if you don't yeah. know how. Or if you came in like oh, button trim. Yes, I've seen button trim. That's really? Cool. Oh, yeah. Make it with buttons? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I got lots of those, too. Okay. Almost to the end, guys. Hang on. So, Ooh, but, uh, an idea in the size of these. Vanessa's going to have to do a tutorial. Yeah. That would be fun. Oh, I don't have another one of those funky glass figures, right? Oh, well. It's all practice. Yeah, I'm just using, you know, all different colors and stuff. Yeah. All right, I'll use this for now. I don't have any more of those cute stones. I just got to find the hole in the bead. Okay. There we go. Five hours later, I found the hole. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, so we... You put your last bead to the side. Oh, that's a crackle bead, isn't it? Uh, if you say so. Okay. <laughs> it's a bead. <laughs> that's that's a bead. Do the button trim next week. All right, Vanessa. All right. See this? Okay. My string is just not the best. Okay. Stay back there. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't tangle. Yeah. It's, it's only doing that because we're watching you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tim. All right. We're not looking, Kathy. You can do it. Oh, God. Of course, the last one went real smooth, but, you know, supposed to hold this bead. Yep. Okay. Doing good. Just hold it and pull. Yeah, just hold it and pull. <laughs> <laughs> You're cracking me up today. <laughs> I'm pulling, I'm pulling. Oh, Kathy, you're killing me. <laughs> I'm pulling. What's going on here? Ain't she funny, guys? <laughs> I crack myself up. Okay, here we go. That's because you're not used to it yet. You'll get it. <laughs> Have faith in yourself. You're a good crafter. Yeah. Normally, I agree. <laughs> you can do uh, anything. Trust me. There's no oh, such thing as I can't. Well, hi, Tim Bits from the attic. Got caught. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Are we laughing their butts off? Look at this idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no. I got extra string. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's there, but I got extra string up here. <laughs> There you go. You just hold your beads in and uh, tug your string a little. Sometimes it'll go up. Yeah. <laughs> Something got caught somewhere. Now, I only need this a certain length, so I don't want to make it too long. Then I'll have to cut it anyways. Yeah. Something happened. I got something. Need about six inches, but I'm going to have to do it right to about there. Use this on a wall hanging. Okay. <laughs> My needle stuck. <laughs> okay, I'll take off so you can. Uh, How good? Fix. <laughs> Help. Hi, hi, Amy. Help, Jesus. Help. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love well, that you. Happens, oh that God. happens when you're on TV. I love it. I can't so even I'm, buy it today. I'm about done for today. Um, uh -huh. But I just wanted to show you the basics on on how to do it. There's all kinds of variations. You can use any kind of bead that you have. It doesn't have to be tiny. 
Um, these are just little green spacer beads and some, uh, these kind of look like cranberries or whatever you call it. Oh, not cranberries, um, pomegranate. <laughs> I love these ones and just little pink pearls and rice beads. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I used to be just sit in my chair and beat at night while hubby yep. watched stupid TV. Yeah, it's nice, busy handwork. Yeah. And I love it. <laughs> it's, it's a cheap hobby. <laughs> we can tell you love it, Kathy. I love it. I love it. I do. I, I was doing really good until my string got stuck. Yeah. You'll be fine. It'll, it'll just, all work out. This is part of the project. So you can... Uh, <laughs> I might have to cut it. Uh, get, the, get the bigger, the longer, as long as you can get them bead uh, needles for beading. Yeah. It's real thin. It's real flexible. Bends. Uh, the only can... bad part is threading. So just get a threader. Yeah. I had a really good one. The cross stitching um, <laughs> metal kinds that they have, the real stiff steel ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I put it. I got uh, one of the machine types, but I can't find that either. Mm. But I'm always breaking that one, the little ones that you can get 10 for a dollar. Yeah, those are cheap. Yeah, those break all the time. So, And just have fun. And please, if you do this, if you do a row of beads, let us see it. Let us see your dangle trim. I want to see your dangles. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's some dangles I don't want to see. <laughs> all right, all right. You don't have to say my name. <laughs> no, that's oh. not. No, it wasn't you. I know. Oh, what you're sure. Well, at least my mind isn't where it should be. Oh, it's Don leaving. Bye, Don. She's probably already gone. <laughs> oh, good. oh boy. Get the damn glue. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yep, uh, Kathy's. Um, I think Kathy needs to stop. Well, I'm not lying. Well, they are instead. She might need to go take yeah, it. There's some dangles you don't want to see. So, okay. <laughs> no, really, guys, it's fun. I just my string got <laughs> my string got stuck, so I got to start over on this one. <laughs> there was no getting it off. Aww. I don't want to discourage anybody. Sometimes you have to cut your string, cut yeah, your off. Yeah, I got to start over. Back up and go do it again. Yeah, I got one, two. I got six. I'm proud of me. <laughs> you did good. All right. You did fine. You did awesome, Kathy. <laughs> You're so kind. <laughs> I like that. I love that. Uh, no, I do. It's, she did I great. I need a better string and a different needle, and I think I'll yeah, yeah. a little better. Yeah. <laughs> You'll learn what you want, what will make you comfortable. So, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Uh, no, fighting the string, it drives me crazy. Yeah, you know, it just keeps holding. Strong bead. Don't use the, what is that other <laughs> string, Andrea? The stuff you can't see. Don't use that stuff. Don't use oh, it. Don't use it. Yeah, you will have a hard time if you get a knot, you will not see it. Well, you won't see, you won't see your thread anyway. You got to see your thread. So. Yeah, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm on my last angle on this one. Last angle. Last so now, angle. What is that? Maybe five inches of lace? Um, actually, it's seven, I think, because I wanted, but it was these I was counting because I wanted these. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I cut seven inches because my plaques that I usually make are about anywhere between six and seven inches wide. Yeah. So, this will be an additive for the thing be bottom. on your project, and you made it yourself. You didn't have yep. a fortune. Well, that, that's what is nice, actually, about this. All kidding aside, when oh, you I ruined my nail. You to do it well. Um, I like that you can match it up to a project that you're working yeah. on. A lot of times, yeah. you don't have the right thing. Yep. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Pixie. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> and next week, let me look, see what we're doing next week. I know what it is. Purple. Love it. Uh -oh. 
My other favorite color. <laughs> oh, anything purple. What See, I'm going to make another one of <laughs> these pieces, but in the purples because I got them sitting here. Oh, there you go. Make another and then one. I was thinking this is like purpley black bugle oh, bean. Wow. Would those be pretty in it? Uh -huh. Oh, and it shines. That's nice. Yeah, they're yeah, Laurel, you heard purple. Heard purple. <laughs> that with that purple pearls right there in the Swavorskians. I thought that would yeah. be pretty. And some seed beads. Beautiful. Well, I don't I don't think I'll be making beaded trim, but I'll make something. I'm gonna make some tonight. I'm gonna play with this. <laughs> Did we decide on next week? What was next week? Anything purple. purple. Oh, anything purple. Oh okay. anything you want to make purple. Oh, oh Kathy's so upset. We've been saying purple for the last five minutes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey. Wait a minute, I gotta turn on my hearing aid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the darn thing off again. So. That's too funny. Oh, nice wow. congratulations, Pixie. I'll go back and add something. Mm -hmm. I'll play with it and show you on my project share. Oh, in the middle. Project share. Oh, God, I got to do a project share. Oh, no. Oh, well, I don't know if I'm going to share this <laughs> I one. I skip this week. <laughs> Let's see it, Kathy. We're on you. <laughs> well, nothing really, you know. <laughs> That's wonderful. This is our project share right now. Yeah, right here. <laughs> well, Kathy, we can Google Hangouts later, and you can give more practice. Yeah. Get something new, that new matches. One. The whole thing matches. <laughs> oh, it turned out nice. Uh, oh, so nice. I'm real proud of you, Kathy. You tried it. <laughs> Thank well, you. That's all, that's all we all can do is, is try it. So I'll show yep. you mine. And there's mine. Two that's pinks, nice. two reds, two greens. Nice. Uh, I worked hard. I got my thread caught a couple yeah. of times. Knotted. Yeah, several times. Nice. Yep. Looks so, really nice. All done. And then Andrea, and then we're going to say goodnight. Well, I am just going around my last thing, post here. And I want to say thank you to everybody for coming today. Um, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. We sure do appreciate your support. I'm sorry yeah. if we missed any chat. I will, Kathleen. <laughs> yeah. uh, bye, folks, and all. So, okay, guys, we'll see you next week. This is my everybody mine. Mine is pretty much finished. Up. I just got to tie off my thread now. But that one's done. Well, I might nice. add something. That's nice. I might take some bigger oh. pearls or something or, or sew some of these to it. I'm just going to have to send Jeannie Dreamer a message when we're on. Uh. <laughs> one down there. That's okay, Jeannie. We'll see you. You can watch the replay and we'll see you next week. We're doing <laughs> anything purple. So yes, so don't miss that one. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say too, I might uh, get on this weekend and do my my gypsy book live. So oh, that'll be nice. Yeah. Jeannie. So we'll see you next week. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>